Aloha, welcome to Jordan's Journal. I'm Representative Joe Jordan, and today as my guest, one of my former colleagues, um, Representative Heather Juni, is with me today to talk about where she's heading next in her film and image and back to your career, right? Welcome, Heather. Thank you very much, Easy. Representative Jordan. I really appreciate this time and opportunity to spend with you again. Mm -hmm. And having been uh, sharing offices practically next door to each other, yes. it was a, a truly a terrific and fabulous opportunity to have um, shared with you during the legislature of 2012. Mm -hmm. So today I'm here to uh, talk to you about uh, the archive. Oh, the, yeah, the archive. Well, first, you're, um, you're with um, Juni World Productions? Right. Okay, so you're still doing that? Still doing it. That's my company. Has been for quite some time. It's a film and video company dedicated to the preservation and, um, and uh, celebration of local filmmaking, local oh. productions. Okay. But you also had this little side project that's mm -hmm. been around for many, many years that um, is with saving and archiving images? That's correct. Um, I have been part of a process of preservation and f of, of films in Hawaii for, um, for m a few decades. Interested early on, but not really as dedicated as the librarians and archivists from 30 years ago who really understood the importance of preserving these uh, films and videotapes. You know, 25 years ago, there was a, um, a librarian at the UH Hamilton that would always come to us and ask us for VHS copies of everything we made, and we never quite understood it, but we were flattered. But th the fact is that Hamilton and Sinclair now have uh, a huge um, uh, uh, library of local films and um, uh, documentaries that were made here that have been preserved on all kinds of formats, and it's really terrific that we have had people in the past that have been concerned and dedicated and collecting uh, this material, and not just uh, people and librarians in places like the university, but also Bishop Museum and, and, uh, and all over independent filmmakers. And so we have, and I've heard conversations for many years, and people have come together here and there to try to start a true uh, moving image archive, but it's been difficult. Wow. So I, I think we've finally made that step, though, right? Haven't we started something? Yeah. You know, not only uh, it's not just a start, it's here. And oh. it's pretty uh, exciting. And um, we'd be able to, uh, to if uh, I could take this time to go to uh, some slides now um, about this uh, archive. And it's called Ulu Ulu, the Henry Kuuloha Juni uh, Moving Image Archive of Hawaii. It's officially this, uh, the official state archive, moving image archive of Hawaii. Ulu Ulu means gathering place. Mm. Um, we started by uh, a, a truly a community, bringing people together, filmmakers, uh, archivists, uh, librarians. It was really an interesting time of getting everyone's input. And the intent of this archive was to collect different film collections from around the state from independents mm -hmm. as individuals as well as um, uh, institutions like KITV and KGMB. And then to get that uh, collection into one space, one safe haven, and to start cataloging it, preserving it, and making it accessible. Wow. Uh, the permanent collections we have uh, are the H in the HKG pilot project, which was one of the first uh, what we did first, uh, we had funds to be able to transfer some incredible moving images from KGMB, for instance, it's the 1978 Con Con uh, on, that was on 16 millimeter film reel. Uh, Ted Shibuya, he was one of the first um, television news cameramen in the state of Hawaii. His footage goes back to the early 50s. Uh, Victoria Keith, she was an independent and is, is still an independent filmmaker who donated her collection. Um, Sand Island uh, uh, program was one of her uh, most well-known and used uh, in the schools during the 80s and 90s. And uh, of course, um, my collection, which is uh, uh, Juni World Production, which is approximately 2,000 videotapes that I am finally able to donate and uh, be able to use for um, uh, educational access. 
And, and the preservation part is really key because we're finding now that all this videotape is uh, becoming molded mm -hmm. and, and the films are cracking. And so preservation is really, and what you see uh, in these three shots here, that's Janelle Quirante, our head archivist. Um, we have three full-time staff right now, and they're all graduates of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Wow. Two of them mm -hmm. from Library of Sciences, and one from ACM, which is the Academy for Creative Media. And preservation is key. In order to preserve, we have to also collect this material. And the next slide will show uh, what kind of, why it's so important that we grab this stuff now. I mean, basically, the house is on fire. We have to try to save what we can. And this is what an example of what a film, badly damaged film, looks like. And the next, and then he, that, that to the left uh, is a, a record, audio record, and that's how much damage that has taken over the years, a toll. And to the right of the screen, again, film damage. What you see now is a one inch, which uh, that's a videotape, which news stations used a lot. You'll see the molding, and molding's oh. bad. Mm -hmm. You know, th so it, and that needs to be cleaned, and uh, most times it's too damaged to r really repair. So we clean it, and that's uh, and then uh, and once we clean it, you see here this machine that we purchased, we were very fortunate. And again, we've gotten grants to purchase some of these machines and we've been, I'm really proud about how we spent the money in this area. And that machine, most mach cleaning machines, when you run a tape through it, will protect the machine and break the tape first before it damages the machine. Mm -hmm. This particular machine was made to protect the tape first. Wow. So it cleans the tape and it protects the tape rather than uh, the machine. It's just, it's just very, it's a terrific machine. It goes through this process. It's an expensive machine, and we're just very fortunate again to have it. So all tapes go through this machine before it goes to, to uh, the digitizing process, which is the next um, slide, which is basically, you know, old analog machines, uh -huh. you know, three-quarter decks. Um, I don't know if you remember them, but yeah. Betacam decks. We're always in search of that. If anybody has any out there to donate to our archive, you know, uh, these things are, um, they don't make them anymore. Wow. And we have a lot of, uh, of tapes out there. And then, of course, it's all backed up to servers, to multiple servers, and backing this digitizing. And then, after backing it up, it's all about website and access, public access. That is what we're all about. We are the new media library, and that's what's so exciting. We are the new curriculum. We are the new uh, primary educational resource. Mm -hmm. And when I say new, I mean untapped. I mean, this is footage that has not been seen in, we had our oldest footage is 1920, 1928, and, or maybe even earlier than that, and, uh, and it hasn't been seen in almost 60 years. Can you imagine? Uh -huh. So you look at this footage, and you can use it as a, as, as a real educational resource. So it, when you mean public access, is it like, the four-letter free? Uh, well, it's the it's the availability oh, of okay. the internet. Okay. Okay. So he, here is what what makes this such a this such a terrific um, community, and I'm going to call Ulu Ulu a community mm -hmm. because uh, it, what it is is it's um, about people who've brought their uh, collections under one roof. In some cases, we don't own it. They own the copyright. Oh, okay. In some cases, they've donated everything to the to Ulu Ulu, mm -hmm. and the Ulu Ulu owns the copyright. Wow. So it just depends on individual uh, person. So, for example, if a documentary person or a, a commercial producer wants to, uh, it finds a terrific piece of footage and they want to put it in their documentary, they need to, and they use they um, find a little bit from. You can access information again. Um, as as Ulu Ulu as a library, you can find the footage, but then you have to go back to the copyright owner, and okay. that's all in the metadata of uh, of that film clip that is uh, um, on the website. So we can actually go to a website. You can, can go to the website. Um, yeah, the website is uluulu.hawaii.edu, 
And if you, once you get to it on the far right bottom of it, it says Ask an Archivist. And you hit that and you can ask an archivist anything you want after you've, you know, obviously gone through the process of researching and searching what uh, what you're looking for. It's a, number one, it's such a fun website because you mm -hmm. get to see your community uh, and it's and what it looks like in so many different ways. And here you, you'll see it on screen. This is the uh, home page. Uh, it's done by themes. So we don't put the whole video on there. No, nope. uh, these are the pilot pieces. partners: University of Hawaii, obviously, Victoria Keith Productions, Gene Coyce, uh, PBS Hawaii, uh, Clear, uh, and it's done in themes. So. Um, you know, we have political figures. It's 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 voices of, of the past. For example, KITV and KGMB's entire collection mm -hmm. is in our um, wow. in the library. That becomes you know those news shows from the early seventies. I mean, you could follow the entire life of Mayor Frank Fossey if you wanted to, or the entire life of H3, or or I'm just naming just the you know yeah, obviously, I mean, you could, but you yeah. could all kinds of you have state, county, um, federal stories all within that, not in, not even including the feature stories. It's it's just a wealth of information of our community that speaks to a certain time. Mm -hmm. When people donate their films to us. For example, they say they uh, they say, "Oh, the, what makes this so important?" I don't think it's important. And I'll say, "This film canister, which you just donated yeah. to us, says 1959 statehood." Yeah. How exciting is that, that? That's really exciting. That's really exciting. You know, it's one thing to open up a book and read words on what was historical, but I think it's a different thing when you see it visually. You get a different sense. And I, I think that's what I kind of captured when I went to go visit you out there. Because this is all located where at UH West Oahu, it's right? It's in your backyard. Yeah, pretty much my backyard, yeah. So, and I think that's great, too. You know, like you said, this new modern, like, library, archiving. Um, I think this is something really interesting. Where are we going to go with this? I mean, how, how, do, how do people get involved? How, you know, if I, if I was a, a person that had some footage, how do I get it to you? I mean, I mean, I don't think you're out there saying, well, just bring it in, right? Yeah, you know, we, we're, we have a strict um, uh, uh, archive policy, and mm -hmm. we do have, and if you go to the website, we have a mission, and, and, okay. and so you can find out details about us and about Ulu Ulu in the, um, uh, in the archive, and you can visit it. You can actually, uh, I mean, it's a living, breathing archive, which will have, uh, in the not too distant future, um, it's a uh, first uh, moving image museum. Wow. So that, I'm looking forward to that. We, you know, we're still in the building stage. Mm -hmm. We've just uh, moved in as of um, August, yeah. and um, there are still things that we are, uh, are uh, needing, obviously. We still need some shelving and compact shelving, and, and, uh, but you know, we're, we're working toward it, and we're really excited. So this material, when people donate it to you and you're able to bring it back and digitize it and put it on, you know, the website, where does the original go? Do you guys save that and protect that? Or? Well, right now, and we and and we have not really as um, broadcasted it too much as of yet, but we already have seventeen thousand videos. Wow, and five hundred, approximately five hundred films. That's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> And that's we haven't even nicked it yet, oh. so we have a lot of things. I'm really, really, really excited. I mean, can you imagine? You know, people get overwhelmed when they come down. And they see um, uh, pictures, or they, you know, when they come into the archive and they see just boxes and boxes and boxes of videotapes, and they go, "How is this all going to be transferred and digitized?" Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, remind everybody that the, that's what everybody thought about the internet when it first came on yeah. board. Yeah. It's like who's going, who, what little, what little person's going to sit there and type in Compton's Encyclopedia? <laughs> yeah, <right>. Really? <laughs> just yeah. like, how is that going to happen? Yeah. And yeah. now, you know, there isn't anything you can't find on the internet. Really. And that's how I'm thinking. I, am, I truly believe that in just in a few short years. Our um, archive is going to be so robust, and we're going to be able to see in voices and mm -hmm. and and find subject matter. I mean, really, it's a reflection of our community that the world will know about. 
Yes. Not just Hawaii, yeah. not just the Pacific, but mm -hmm. this is accessible to anybody on the planet that can see that we were once a plantation village, that we can see, hear from voices of people who can speak, who have spoken about the overthrow or you know, from documentaries that were made that were really and continue to be fabulous. Voices that haven't been heard. Anti Frenchy de Soto, who helped create Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Correct, yeah. who helped do so much for the Hawaiian community. To hear her voice and speak so eloquently, as short as it is, as short as the snippet it is, in the Kan Kan, it's really magnificent. And these are the kinds of gems that we're going to find. I mean, uh, when we found and discovered um, and were able to transfer the 1968 uh, Kan Kan. Wow. We got to hear the voice of, of Porteus, wow. who was like, it, it was, so these people that you don't hear even their voices anymore. It's it's just uh it's again I I can't um, express to you what a, 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 a not a, only a gem an educational gem but a joy it is to be able to uncover this material for our community forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you only focus on um, images, right? You know, uh, moving, moving images, images and analog. right? So we're not into like doing anything else because it's so much work everyone yeah. has to have their own kuleana yeah and I really believe in that mm -hmm. and I really believe we all should partner and help each other yes to accomplish the different tasks mm -hmm. but the key word here is partner yes and um, and this it this effort exists because people before me mm -hmm. and before the group of people that created it now um, understood that film and video needed to be protected. We've lost a lot. But you know, by the time, 30 years ago when people were talking about doing this to today, I can't tell you how much has been trashed. Wow. Wow. Because no one, there was no place to go to and people didn't have the room. And I can't, I'm not going to blame any particular institution for throwing away their, you know, news reels um, that ba because nobody really understood that it was a historical document at the time. Mm -hmm. That when we were bulk erasing videotape, yeah, in the days in those newsroom days, that we never understood what a treasure we had that we were erasing. Yeah, a I moment in time that we would never yeah. see again. Yeah, and, and to see those moving images, mm -hmm. you know, and and being able to you know, take that forward to our future generations. I, and that, that speaks volumes. So. It does, because people, uh, young people start today, and whoever can speak to it, uh, whatever subject matter they're interested in today, but when they're able to go back mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and dig up footage yeah. from a past that's, that speaks to their subject matter today, then it just adds, uh, it makes their project um, much richer. Yeah, more, more living, mm -hmm. more, more a sense Mm -hmm. So we have like four categories in this website, and the categories are. Um, well, uh, the categories. Well, we don't. I mean, the website is uh, pretty extraordinary. Um, you'd have to go there. I would suggest going there. Oh, okay. But it, it's it, you know, there's a whole area where you can explore. It's mm -hmm. a, it, um, uh, the the website actually was done by Wall to Wall Productions. Okay. And uh, and they did a, a really a fun um, way. If you top hit explore. Uh, then you can go to all the different before wow, you before stay yeah. There is a lot yeah of we, we threw that up it's not going to be you know w the intent is to yeah do it by themes so we as we collect more and uh, you know and Lima Museum we discovered their footage or they threw it in to us uh, for an opportunity to transfer it and there was a volcano eruption that nobody had ever even seen before Wow! so it was uh, mm -hmm. you know again it's uncovering all kinds of interesting things and uh, it's uh, it's been great going around the state and finding you know because not it's it's expensive to transfer film mm. Yeah. So we send the films to uh, the mainland, wow. and we uh, and our grants. You know, we work really hard. We have a great uh, team, and it's a great effort. And uh, we first uh, our initial funding was from was called an earmark, which uh, I'm very grateful for that earmark. Mm -hmm. Earmark is not a bad word in my life. Earmark <laughs> has created this um, opportunity not just for Hawaii and through this archive, but earmarks have have done a great uh, uh, have done. Um, offered a lot for this community mm -hmm. statewide. 
and uh, we had three, three, I think three years of earmarks, and we used that money very, very well. Wow. We've in three years mm -hmm. we put this thing together wow. thanks to that's the um, really partnership that's again. Quick. It's partnerships and uh, partnership with um, uh, UH West Oahu, Jean Okuni, and um, ACM is the uh, is the lead at the University of Hawaii, uh, led by um, Chris Lee. And it's uh, been a m remarkable um, effort that, you know, everyone believed in mm -hmm. and everyone feels really strongly about. Well, I think it's really great because UH West Oahu is going to be this new hybrid type of community college. And I think this is unique to put it out mm -hmm. there and with that growing community. And this is going to be an industry that's going to grow from what I see. Yeah, no, we're really fortunate in, in finding space. You know, when we really uh, originally thought of this, uh, how we were going to do this, it wasn't so much a physical space as much as we were thinking about it as a website, and then realized, well, we had to have some place to do all the work. Do the work, yeah. And uh, when we um, uh, when uh, we had an opportunity to uh, work with UH West Oahu, we really jumped at that opportunity because, you know, it was near the Leeward Coast, mm -hmm. a community yes. which is now famous for its own young filmmakers. That's correct, yes. Sea Riders. Sea Riders, and, uh, yes. And so we just thought it was a, a, a perfect place to be. It's also a new building, um, and, uh, and and we were got in at a time where we were able to design it with um, with archival um, oh. expectations. Mm -hmm. So we have like, a, we have approximately tw almost 12,000 square feet Wow, that's uh, the first floor uh, of the uh, UH Library, UH West Oahu Library, and of that we have 2,000 square feet, which is a vault where all the originals are kept when they're finished being digitized. Wow. And that vault uh, is climate controlled to archival standards. Again, we're n we, we do everything with archival standards. Mm -hmm. We're not a digitizing facility and we're not public storage. Yeah. So we don't accept tapes because we have a lot of space to put on shelves. Mm -hmm. And we don't like uh, just dub somebody's tape. Yeah, we have actual process paperwork. It's you know it's not tedious as it is. Just um, we just have a, a, a pra practice of how we do it. Sounded like a great working partnership because this was a new you know being built school, and you could help design what you needed to work in with that facility. Your, yeah, no, I'm very grateful for the foresight of. Uh, of uh, Gino Okuni for allowing us to come into that space. I truly, um, this is truly a new media library again, mm -hmm. I'd like to emphasize. And, and uh, you know, it's not just um, a place that can, as it, it has Wi Fi, yeah. it, it's, <laughs> a, it's, a, it's a place that can access media and work mm -hmm. with media in a, in a production area and in a facility that has. Um, history. Yeah. And then, you know, for the general public, they don't actually have to go to UH West Oahu. They can go right back to um, the website and just the, the unique access them Yes, from and there. that is the unique. Are you saying that the public can't go well, to Well, I mean, UH no, West Oahu? I mean, they can't go to <laughs> UH West Oahu, but I mean, you know, not everybody <laughs> can get there. I mean, if they want to see, you know, clips or yeah, something, no. so they just, yeah, and, and so there's no password. Tapping. Yeah. No, oh, there's wow, there's not. No. Wow. We're truly public access. Wow. Uh, that uh, w this is to the world. Mm -hmm. Germans in Germany can like, uh, uh, you know, learn more about us through this moving image library. Wow. So no, we, we want to be accessible. We want to be a true library. Now, we only show a small percentage of uh, the original footage oh, okay. that we have. So you don't put so like we protect a whole hour no, of... No, we do oh, not. Okay. We, we, we try as uh, um, much as we can to protect um, the original footage, okay? So the idea is that we will see 10% of it, 10% of 30 minutes, 10% of two minutes, 10% of one hour. Oh, okay. So, uh, so that's how that works. And then if you want to see more, then you, um, um, at, you know, are in contact you, uh, with the archivist. And, and there's a process through the website process. where they can, you know, ask permission to see more of the footage mm -hmm. or, or, or contact. The, mm -hmm. the copyright holder, right? and then there's paperwork that needs to be filled out, and those kinds so of things. So you're protecting everybody on every level. Then we try, and uh, the, and and uh, when you play any piece of footage uh, on the website, there there's a copyright holder in the front. Wow. It basically tells you that you can't if you if you do something bad. <laughs> yep, you're gonna go.
<laughs> to uh, Joe. To <laughs> Joe. <laughs> okay. So it is. You're pr you're protecting the the copyright holders, but you you're also allowing public access. We to, hope that we. You know what? I'm not gonna. Images. There's always abuse, but I'm gonna just. You know, for me. It's about preservation first, yeah. and and education, and and I'm just gonna have faith in in that people will. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure because this footage is 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 gonna be like wow. They, people haven't seen it in 30, 40, 50 years. So the respect of that, and and then how can I get more? Or how can I, you know? And you won't get. get and and you don't. And truly, you, uh, we have a tight system that that we put people in touch with people and have oversight. So mm -hmm. it's like any other, like the Getty M Images Museum. And, and really, w we, we believe someday soon we are going to be um, right up there wow. for in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. We are going to be the shining star that UH oh, West Oahu ship, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and probably the largest um, uh, cutting edge. Absolutely. States cutting innovative. edge again. This is innovation, mm -hmm. innovation done independently. When there is a will, there's a way. Okay. When there's get the done, desire right? to be creative, you can get it done. That's right. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. I was very impressed when I went. Um, thank you for visiting us. Now I've been sharing it with all my friends. Go check out this Ulu Ulu site. And they're like, really? Wow, this is cool. So again, I look forward to working with you more on this, especially with my um, Sea Rider productions. And well, it has a Hawaiian foundation, so I'm very proud of that part of it. Wow. So thank you again for joining me. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us on Jordan's Journal, and we'll see you with our next show. Aloha.